decide I want to get smarter, didn't want to do anything dramatic like read a book. <laughs> so I decided I was gonna watch Jeopardy every day. That's what I did. Love Jeopardy, right? Best Jeopardy, Kid Jeopardy, right? Kid Jeopardy's the best. Kid Jeopardy makes you feel like the smartest person on the face of the planet. That's just fun, right? You're at home like, what is a triangle? Who are caterpillars? What my mittens are attached to? I'm on fire! Feels good. <laughs> Worst part of regular Jeopardy is when Alex Trebek goes to interview the contestants on Jeopardy, right? That's the slowest three minutes of television you'll see every day. Holy shit. Oh. He's literally asking these people for one good story from their entire lives. A thing that happened to them, one event, right? Never heard anything worth repeating from these people. Alex Trebek, the host, he's over it, right? He's never like, wow, that's incredible. He's like, okay, next. Yeah. <laughs> I think part of the problem is that they've been studying their whole lives to get on Jeopardy. It takes a lot of time, so they don't have the access to the stories most of us have, you know? Like, they, they, they don't know what a gravity bong is. That's my point. They don't. <laughs> it is painful. Trebek will walk up, he's like, three-day champion, David Jordan. David, I understand you recently got a second golden retriever. That's right, Alex. I, uh, I did. I, uh, you'll like this. I had one golden retriever. And, uh, then I got us a good one. <laughs> and, uh, at first, the dogs, the golden, yeah, they didn't get along. But... <laughs> After a little bit of time, let's just say the, 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 the dog, the, uh, they got along. I can't, I'm done, I can't, he's sweating bullets, poor bastard. Why put him through this? Like I said, I'm too stupid to get on Jeopardy. If I did, I would murder the story section, okay? You'd remember this face. He'd walk up, be like, Gareth Reynolds will make him $7,800. Buzzing and aggressively. <laughs> Especially during U.S. presidents. Gary, I understand. <laughs> you have a story about dogs. That's right, I do, Alex. Actually, in high school, a good friend of mine used to get drunk before the rest of us and pass out first, so we'd play pranks on him. Well, one night we thought it'd be funny to put peanut butter on his testicles and get the dogs to lick it off. <laughs> Turns out that's an old wives' tale. Dogs do not like peanut butter from down there. Not knowing the best course of action to remove it, we decided what we'd do instead is make a peanut butter sandwich, take two bites out of it, and set it beside him. Sort of set the scene of the crime. <laughs> well, the next morning he comes downstairs. Next morning he comes downstairs like, man, you were hammered last night, you made a peanut butter sandwich. He goes, peanut butter sandwich, I wouldn't do that. We go, no, you made a peanut butter sandwich. He goes, I wouldn't do that, I'm allergic to peanut butter. That's how you tell a Jeopardy story. 